Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and this video will explain why every family should have a pulse oximeter in their home. A pulse oximeter measures oxygen saturation, which is the SpO2 measurement on an oximeter. It measures how much oxygen blood carries in comparison to its full capacity. In other words, it's an estimation of how much oxygen the hemoglobin in your blood contains compared to how much it could contain. Pulse oximeters are devices that represent this measurement using a simple percentage. This video is sponsored by Acumed. They have the highest quality of a pulse oximeter available today. The SpO2, which is the blood oxygen saturation level of a healthy person, should fall between 94% to 100%. And let me show you what mine read. I put the Acumed pulse oximeter on my finger and at first it jumped around. A true reading happens about maybe two or three minutes later where the levels are going to stabilize. Mine stabilized at a 98% oxygen reading and a 91 pulse rate. You can see it right here as I'm reading my Acumen pulse oximeter. The display is bright and I can see clearly I'm feeling good about this reading. I recently had COVID. I spoke to a doctor and asked them, what should I be doing? And the doctor advised me to get an oximeter and advised me to come into the hospital if the readings got below 92. Now you can see my pulse rate on my oximeter is at 98, but that makes sense because I've been running around to make this video. When I'm laying down, my pulse rate is about 60. An ideal heart rate is between 50 and 90 beats per minute. So both of those numbers are really important when you're concerned about your health. My doctor said if the oximeter reads below 92% oxygen and if my heart rate was over 100 for a while, then that would be time to get more medical attention. I am not a doctor. I'm just expressing to you what my doctor said. The reason it's important is if your oxygen level goes too low, you can't support your tissues and your organs in your body. It's a condition called hypoxia. And if hypoxia goes on too long, low oxygen, it can damage your heart or your brain. So you'll need medical attention or someone in your family will. That's why it's really important to keep this in some drawer. Let me tell you more about Acumed's oximeter. There are other times you might want to measure your SpO2 levels and pulse rates. I do a lot of exercise and I like to see what's going on when I'm doing that exercise. So I like to wear my Acumed pulse oximeter around my neck. And in this case, I was riding up a really steep hill and I was really getting out of breath. So I wanted to stop and check and see what it read. When I checked the levels, I was okay. I had plenty of oxygen in my system and my pulse rate was normal especially for going up that hill. I felt really good about my workout that day. So if you do any kind of workouts at all, whether you go to gym or ride bikes, this is a great device to have handy during those workouts. And if you travel, you might wanna have your own oximeter, especially if you have breathing problems and kind of see where you're at when you're in the planes because you're dependent on that oxygen system to deliver your oxygen needs. So an oximeter might give you more peace of mind as you're flying in planes. So I really believe in having an oximeter in the household. So you or your kids or people you love and care, you can check them out if they get sick or if you're doing some exercise. In my town, pulse oximeters, oximeters sold out. So I could only get one online. So I reached out and I found Acumeds and I really love all the features. Let me show you what you get when you order one. It arrives to door in this small box. I got all three models. I've been using the white design today, but they also have one with blue trim and a solid black color. It's a really nice design. They have fit all those features in this small oximeter. They are very lightweight. They are not heavy on the fingertip. This is what the front of the box looks like. And this is the back of the box. And on the side of the box, it tells you the activities I just explained. So I opened the box and I laid everything out for you to see. You get your oximeter, you get the carrying case, you get batteries, and a lanyard in case you want to wear it around your neck. The lanyard's small and the batteries are small and they packed them in the carrying case. A very efficient way to ship them so they wouldn't damage during shipping. To attach the lanyard, you just thread it through the top of your oximeter and then thread the ribbon through that. There's also a loop on the carrying case in case you prefer to do it that way. So for my bike rides, I can just take it off my neck and then open it up and use the oximeter just on the spot. That's really handy for my exercise or for travel. It was really bright outside that day and the screen is bright enough that it was easy to read in the bright sunlight. It's always in standby mode, ready for use. And when you turn on the power, it'll say finger out. Let me show you the brightness of that LED display. This is the very brightest. And now I'm gonna press it with a strong press 
to change the brightness of the display. Because if someone's sick and resting in a dark room, maybe you just want it on low. You wouldn't want to go to sleep with this on. It's recommended to only have it on a finger for a maximum of two hours. Because if it's fitted too tightly and left for too long a time, a pulse oximeter can cut off your oxygen from your surrounding vessels, so you don't want to do that. And a person that rolls over in their sleep, they could actually have it fall off, so that's not going to help you. And it recommends that your finger go all the way in it. And don't shake it. Let it be calm and still while it's reading your numbers. Acumet's pulse oximeter is so simple to use because there's really only two things that you do with it. You turn it on and you adjust the lightness with that button. Everything else is automatic. And when you're not using it, it automatically goes to standby mode, which doesn't use the battery. The battery will last a full 20 hours. The Acumen Pulse Oximeter works by shining a light through the fingertip, which is a relatively transparent area of your skin, and the light shines through, and it detects the position on the other side of the skin. The amount of the light that's absorbed by the blood will indicate the oxygen saturation of your blood. Pulse oximeters do not directly measure oxygen saturation, but instead they use a complex equation and other data to estimate the exact level. It's not recommended to use finger polish because if you had a long fingernail, the light couldn't get all the way through to go through the other side of your skin. My fingernails are really short, so where the light shines through is getting right through my finger. And be careful of looking at the light because it's not healthy to look at it because it's an infrared laser. That gives the reading. And also is a user manual that Acumen includes because if you don't know the science behind a pulse oximeter, it's going to teach you right there. They have thought that's necessary information that you might want to know, and I like that they're so detailed about it. And in the user manual, there's even a chart explaining it. It's very detailed, but it's quite fascinating. If you're one of those techies, you might really like that. And if you have many sick people in your family, you might want to disinfect it with some alcohol, but don't get it wet. It's not to be submerged in water. Don't take it into the pool if you're going to go swimming. It's to be used dry. So don't spill your cup of tea on it if you're sick in bed either. Click the link below to get your Acumen Pulse Oximeter. I really feel good having one in my household, and I think you will too in case someone gets sick. You never know when that's going to be these days. I'm Rebecca Brand. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified of my next video. And let's keep making great recipes in life. And today's recipe is with Acumid Pulse Oximeter for peace of mind. And I wish you really good Pulse Oximeter readings. Bye now. <laughs>